Yo, what's up aliens? I he here. So today I wanted to show y'all uh, my new product called Ahi's Magic LFO Shapes. Now these are advanced LFO shapes specifically for x for Serum. And I'm going to show you all their different uses today. But, you know, a lot of LFO shapes are just like those triangles or maybe they're like, oh, wub wub or, you know, something like that. Well, these are like entire phrases and like patterns and uh, melodies even in here. Um, but I want to show y'all, this is what they ultimately look like. There's these uh, folders here that are full of all these different patterns. And there's 111 of them in total. And I'm going to show you in context uh, how to use them here. So uh, first I'm going to show y'all probably my favorite use is the, uh, the wubby shapes. So I've got like this, you know, bass wub. And here it is in... In context of a dubstep beat so you know sometimes I'd go through and automate stuff and that's all great but sometimes I want to find inspiration a little bit faster uh, so I can grab one of these blub patterns and if we just play it off it'll be way too fast so we're gonna set it to uh, two bars here you want to make sure that the triggers envelope is set and we're gonna apply the LFO uh, to the volume and just a little bit here to uh, the FM from B. Um, and really you can apply this to anywhere, but watch how it's a whole phrase now. <laughs> and here we can explore through and find a bunch of different patterns. You know, and uh, they're just fun. And just saves you a lot of clicking around. Um, they also uh, come in like triplet patterns. Uh, you know, they might not be patterns that you would have thought of. And, you know, maybe it'll inspire a new kind of beat. Uh, and they're, they're also just sort of a place where you can start from and then explore it from so instead of wob up da 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 maybe you want to grab one of these here and break up the pattern you know it's pretty fun you can go through and apply this uh to whatever bass sound that you want then you mess up all right well those are the wobbles there you can obviously tell that can be a lot of fun next here uh we've got the plucky um patterns so here i've got it just set up to go to a house beat um and it's changing notes and just does a pattern A uh, bunch of different patterns in here. Classic ones. So maybe, uh, you know, things you hadn't thought of. Just to inspire. You know? Um, and you can apply that to all sorts of different sounds. Um, or uh, apply it to whatever parameter you want. I'm just trying to have advanced things that take a lot of clicking to get set up and to have that shorten that time for y'all so here also these hi-hat patterns are pretty fun so i've got a uh, drum and bass beat going and it's it's sort of creating those hi-hats so you want to have this set to the noise on and you want to set it to analog bright white in order to get that one to set up. And I set it to either one bar or to half a bar uh, to get those to really groove properly so it's not too fast or too slow. But you can see, it, it, even minor shifts create just like a whole different groove.
those are going to be really fun. So yeah, uh, a thing to remember is to apply that LFO here to the level and turn the level all the way down and then the uh, LFO amount all the way up. All right. Uh, next on here, we have entire melodies. So check this out. Um, this is just playing one note. Now to set these up, uh, it'll be in the uh, melodic LFO shapes. Um, and you'll want to throw it just on the semitone and have it be multipolar all the way at 100. Uh, yep, just like that. So you can literally just throw it on. And then I set it to two bars here. You could maybe go up one depending upon what kind of effect you were going for. But yeah, there's um, a couple scales going up and down. So you could um, play around. You know, you could always turn on mono and legato for smoother transitions there. Um, but yeah, all sorts of fun little melodies in here. Um, what's this one? Oh yeah, so you could even apply the LFO shape. Let's maybe grab like the hi-hat pattern on here and uh, we'll set that to trigger one bar, maybe half a bar. In. You know, a little popcorn sounds. Uh, maybe let's get a, maybe one of the plucky patterns. So yeah, combining the different LFO shapes. Pretty cool. And then lastly, we have the intervals, which is um, pretty simple. It's for creating sounds like this. It's like telephone, like dub siren kind of sounds. And in here, uh, just basically every uh, interval that there is. Tritone ones, uh, octave. And these also, you'll just throw it on, and they're just meant to just be thrown on and work instantly. Hello. Anyways, I uh, hope you all enjoy this. Uh, I have them up on my Gumroad for 10 bucks for all 111. You can see you can get a lot of different uses out of them, and you'll probably come up with things that I haven't even thought of. So definitely go check that out. I'll provide a link below of where you all can get it. and. Oi, happy music making. Oi, peace aliens.